A leading cause of death among firefighters nationwide has now even surpassed heart disease, and some awareness of this issue is being further brought to light this month. Newswatch reporter Catherine Skeldon met with a local firefighter to discuss this leading cause of death and how they are hoping that with enough education, it can be prevented. In the past year, nearly 75% of the names added to the International Association of Firefighters Memorial in Colorado Springs were those who died from occupational cancer. This is a type of cancer that is directly linked to hazards in the workforce. And for firefighters, it happens from their exposure to carcinogenic fumes. Mainly just any kind of burning materials, especially nowadays. There's, I mean, just look around your house, how many plastics uh, and, and materials like that are involved in your home and that's not natural material and when those materials burn they off gas all sorts of nasty stuff. Now it has become the leading cause of death among them. However, the IAFF and the Firefighter Cancer Support Network have come together to bring more awareness of the issue by dedicating January as Firefighter Cancer Awareness Month. It's a month dedicated to learning more about firefighters' exposure to these cancer-causing materials, such as that many of them don't even come from the fires themselves. Carcinogens from asbestos, ashes, and even diesel exhaust can often stick to the firefighter's clothing and gear, making it especially important to decontaminate upon returning from an emergency. It is just uh, an awareness level to let people know that uh, it's, it's not just the danger of actually fighting the fires. Uh, just being in this particular profession has ongoing dangers throughout throughout the days, throughout the years. There are over 265 known carcinogens that firefighters get exposed to just in a typical residential structure fire alone. Catherine Skeldon, Newswatch.